verse number one, when he says, rebuke me not in thine, in thine anger, I don't think he's necessarily here thinking that like he did anything majorly wrong. But when things are going wrong, it's natural to be thinking like, what did I do? Right? Hey, whatever I did, God, if you'll please just, just have some mercy on me. Because whatever's going on, he feels like he's being hit real hard. He feels like he's being chastened real hard. So what he's pleading with God right off the bat, and this is the first thing that we always ought to do also, I believe this is healthy to do when things go bad, is to look at yourself and be like, hey, what am I doing? Right? Because we don't want to ever be chastened by God and not realize we're being chastened by God. We don't want to have to be disciplined and not have no, have no clue. Like, oh, I don't know why all these bad things are happening. And then you continue to do wrong. But you're going to continue to get chastened until you figure it out. So a good reaction to have is just in general, when things go wrong, is just think, well, hey, what, what did I do? What, what, what can I possibly have done? What am I doing that, that, that may be bringing discipline on me? Now, obviously, it's not always because of what you do, right? So, uh, you know, you may not know, and it may be for other reasons. We can look at Job. You know, Job didn't do anything wrong to bring a bunch of punishment on himself. That's what his friends thought, and that's what his friends were trying to accuse him of. And, you know, we ought not to be looking at other people when they're going through really hard times and suffering persecutions and have bad things happening to them going, oh, that must just be God disciplining that person, right? We don't know. Now, you may know. You may, it may be something really obvious. Someone might be involved in some really big sin. You could be like, well, yeah, that makes sense. They're being punished. They're being disciplined, right? But don't have this thought and, and just be you know, kind of accusing people in your minds when you don't know anything about what's going on in someone's life and they're having bad things, you know, your first thought shouldn't be going, oh, God's disciplining them. Now, that's different when you're applying it to yourself, okay? The way we look at others should always be with grace and humility and going, well, oh, man, that's too bad, and just have compassion on those people like Job's friends should have had towards him. Have that compassion, love him, help him, be there for him, support him, right? Because they didn't know of any sin he had. They didn't know he was involved, you know, because he wasn't, right? And we ought to be the same way. But when things are happening to you, you got to look at yourself just to make sure, hey, did I miss something? Am I doing something here that's not right? And really take a moment to do some self-reflection. And what David's saying here, he's like, Lord, please don't rebuke me in thine hot in, in thine anger, and neither chasing me in thy hot displeasure. Now, why is he saying that? Because when you get disciplined or punished from, you know, especially children with parents, it's not a good idea for parents to get angry when they execute discipline and chastisement upon your children. Because what happens is when you're really angry, you're full of wrath, you know, your child did something that just man, it makes your blood boil, it's a lot easier to lose control of yourself and to bring upon that person, you know, upon your child, a much more severe punishment than you would normally do or than that would be just or reasonable just because you're so worked up and so angry. And this is why, you know, whatever David's going through, he's saying, you know, God, please, <laughs> please don't punish you. Know, if I need disciplining, Please don't punish me in your hot displeasure. Like, like, don't just be real angry and pouring out punishment on me, please, because I don't want that kind of a beating. Right? I don't want that kind of a punishment. And as parents, we should look at, and, you know, it happens, but we, we ought to keep this in our minds. This is kind of a side note. It's not exactly what this passage is, is teaching, but we do need to understand that and realize that when your children do wrong and they need discipline, they, they receive the appropriate discipline. Everyone needs to be careful with that because, you know, obviously you don't want to hurt your child. You don't want to injure your child. You don't want to do anything that's, that's actually going to be, like, harmful for them. The point of chastising discipline is to be helpful. Yes, it needs to sting. Yes, it's going to hurt. But it needs to be measured, and it needs to be under control.